Hey guys, Dave here. Hey guys, Dave here. Hey, gonna go over the new Sony HDR-AS 30V camera. Uh, this is the very small POV action camera from Sony. Um, it's got some really cool features, so uh, and I guess a couple pieces of equipment to go with it. Let's get into it. So as I just mentioned, this, uh, this new camera um, from Sony is a uh, basically like your your GoPro and, and similar cameras but this is their uh, compact action camera um, <clears throat> it's got a lot of great features we're gonna get into it's gonna be kind of a tutorial too for some of you who don't understand the camera I want to make sure you guys get to know it um, and all of its great features and uh, get to see some of the uh, cool things it offers so uh, let's start off this is a um, 11.9 uh, megapixel camera steady shot it's got the uh, small display here uh, previous and next buttons uh, it's got the record button on the back and it's got a hold button which keeps you from being able to press that button once it's on hold so you'll see here it tells you to push here slides over and you can flip it up here uh, once flipped up you can notice that flipping that up that little latch up there releases the battery this came with a uh, 1240 milliamp uh, an hour battery. Uh, one of the harder parts about this camera is that this micro SD card here, it has to go in a certain direction, of course, but the thing about it is, is it can be plugged in uh, and goes in very smoothly going in the wrong way. So it's very possible for you to plug this in and not be able to record. Pretty much it tells you right from the beginning though, it keeps telling you media and, bl and blinks a lot. So we got a, uh, a nice sized for this high quality camera. Um, and then at the bottom here, you flip this open, it actually tells you if you can read it from the light, uh, multi HDMI, and then that's a power adapter. So your, uh, your multi over here is gonna be your micro USB, and then you got an HDMI, which is a, uh, it's a small micro, I forget if it's, uh, micro HDMI or what um, this is a connector port uh, and a it's supposed to be a microphone I guess uh, port and that's pretty much the outside of the camera as it is by itself um, go ahead and just turn it on pressing uh, one of the buttons here give it a second to boot up all right and uh, as we as it boots up here, it's telling us all kinds of little bits of information. Um, tells us how many pictures we can take at this. We got play, play videos only if uh, you have an external display attached. Uh, you got movie, which right now tells us how many hours we could record. Tells us the quality of 1080 at 60 frames a second. Stability mode is on, um, and that this is moving. It shows us our battery level up there. Uh, it's got photo tells us how many photos we could take over 10,000 photos with its largest uh, interval five seconds this is going to be your uh, time lapse and you would just simply hit the back here and it's going to continue taking that time lapse wherever you're whenever you're ready um, in those intervals which I'll show you how to change them and you got setup and that's the last thing though before you go back to play so to get into any of these options you press the back button now we have the option of video once we go into this option we basically get to see PS is the highest quality that's uh, 1080 at 60 frames per second. I'm gonna bring this a little closer here. And you got 1080 at 30 frames per second, that's called HQ. And you got standard 720 at 30 frames, 720 at slow-mo, which is 60 frames a second, and 720 at super slow-mo, which is 120, that's basically um, uh, four frames per second. Then you got the low-grade VGA 40, 480, at 30 frames per second. This will last you a long while. Uh, so you can pretty much pick, or if you don't want to change, you just hit that back button. You got steady shot. That is going to take away from um, some of the wide angle uh, to get a better steady shot so that you're not shaking the camera and it's causing it to go in and out so much. Then you got angle itself, which can be set at 170 degrees or 120 which is going to help with stability also and that's going to basically mean you're going to get that big bubble dome uh, really wide angle shot 
or if you're just going to cut away from that and that way when you're moving the camera it'll um, help stabilize the image. Then you got scene. This is either going to be normal or water. Uh, those are your two options. Pretty much if you're planning on going underwater with it, you want to set it to the water scene for better lighting. Then you got the lapse. This is your time lapse. So uh, right now it's five seconds, but you can go from 5, 10, 30, 60, and that's pretty much it. And then we got Wi-Fi. Uh, really cool feature about this. Um, I have an Android phone here, my HTC one I make videos on. And if you download the program Play Memories Mobile, um, you would be able to use this uh, in conjunction with your camera. So right now it's off. If I turn it on, whenever you change some setting about the uh, device, it actually goes all the way back out. So you gotta go back into setup, and there's Wi-Fi. Um, then we got GPS. The GPS feature. It's really cool. It allows you to track where you are, uh, are, you are, and where you're going. And later on, you can use a software that comes with the uh, camera to upload that, and you can actually map out uh, your, where you're going and map out your speed that you're moving at. Um, it's a really cool feature, and you can pretty much see your little icon up there blinking, kind of telling you it's it's checking our GPS location. So. Um, see here then you got plane mode uh, pretty much if you're gonna be on a plane you're gonna want this and if you're gonna have it on you're gonna need plane mode so it's not sending out wireless signals and messing with the equipment there um, so that yeah again it's just play mode plane mode then we got uh, a off which is for the auto power off you can have this set to power off after a short amount of time so that uh, it doesn't waste your battery. And you got beep, which of course is going to cause uh, all the beeps to, to go out. So if you don't want to hear any beeps, you can just turn that off. You got the date you can set. This is USB power. You can set it to where when you plug in the USB, it actually gets powered um, through the USB and rather than just a charger. And then you got the VSYS. This is for switching between the NTSC. Uh, PAL uh, setting and then you got reset this is going to reset all your settings to, uh, to factory and then you got format which is going to reset the uh, the device uh, I'm sorry the format the SD card and then you got back so that's pretty much all your settings back to going back to movie mode to where you can see everything from there so now that we're all the way back at the beginning, we have Wi-Fi turned on. I should be able to, oh, here we go. My phone came up with it. Select it. It's going to connect to this camera. And the thing I noticed about this, it takes a minute to, to connect and, and everything, but um, the quickness when the phone and the uh, camera are so close, um, between it sending its signal is really good should be connected any second now all right so going from here you can see me hey guys shake my head i'm using both my hands so i really can't shake wave at you but as you can see this is this goes extremely quick uh not really much of a delay there um i know i'm kind of getting fuzzy here there you go so uh, you can also hit the record button from this point or switch which mode you want to go through. If you want to switch it to uh, picture mode or camera mode and you have a couple settings here as far as uh, what angle we can give you a good idea of switching it. See how it pulls back even further angle there. That's a 720, 120. Now we get a little bit closer to help with that steady shaking. Um, so just some really cool features I think. Uh, that this camera can offer uh, a lot of, a lot of these newer cameras can do some of this but it's really cool so let's get into some of the equipment that i have with it here this is the uh, the display case this actually has a display on it flips uh 180 and 90 has a start button you want to basically open this thing up open your bottom piece up here and this 
fits it down. It has a little slot down there that it fits into. Pop the camera in there, close the case. And now you can actually open this and watch your videos from it. Or record live or whatnot. But you've got your, your button back here. You still have your hold button. You can slide that back and forth. You can still access these. This is no way near a waterproof case or water resistant anything. It's just simply a display case that allows you to uh, turn it into having the display on it. And uses the battery life off of this uh, so that the, this does not actually need battery in it. Uh, the next thing I got here, this pretty much comes with it if you buy it brand new. Uh, it's a waterproof case. Uh, slides right in here like so. Connects at the top, swings down at the bottom. You grab it this way, trying to give you a good angle, and close it. Super easy. Um, I know with the GoPro, it has a bit of a tough time closing. I mean, I, I literally could just, just trying to show you the easy of it, that just a pinky clips it. And a nice another little feature here is it has this latch for unlocking it right here. And it got a little grab on the sides. It makes it super easy. You figure that it's not getting a good seal, but it is up to 197 feet underwater. Um, you got your hold, which this will turn to left and right to keep you from hitting that button again, or if the first time if you don't want to set it off yet, or that way you just hit that on. And you got the option of hitting these buttons still uh, in this waterproof case. So you can flip through, take pictures or, or video and all that. Um, comes with the ability to to tie it into any other kind of mounts you might have and so really good case uh, definitely definitely some great innovation there so flip that back out there came out of there uh, what else I have here this is a helmet cam um, mount and what we got here is this part opens up flips open like that and once it flips open you'll see that this comes apart this is where you would put your strap, your head strap, your helmet strap, whatever the strap that you have, however you're going to strap it onto yourself or whatever equipment, the strap would come across here. You would close that strap into it and lock it. So then it's basically got that band around it. So then you can just simply attach this to it, um, which... You actually need to use your, your case because you can tell here it doesn't have any way of, of attaching outside by itself. So you would have to attach your case um, to be able to do it on here. But it basically just, as you can guess, connects right there. Uh, the, some of the last things I have, and that's one of the head straps to it. The last things I have are these two. These, one of them is a very straight, a little bit thinner because it's so straight. Uh, you can pull the sticky off and attach it to whatever you're wanting to. Um, while this one has a bit of a curve, if you can tell right there on the bottom, so it can actually strap onto a helmet or, or pull the sticky off and it can fit on that really flush. Um, and what this comes with is this yellow piece. Uh, this yellow piece holds on really well. Um, the first time I was doing it, I was just waiting for it to break because you got to put a lot of pressure. But once you get it in there, you can hear it. It just snaps in solid. It comes out a lot easier than it goes in. Um, it just, these two pieces won't come apart. Um, once you got them snapped together, I won't worry about driving at 100 miles per hour and worrying about this thing uh, flying off the top of it. I'd be more worried about, uh, you know, it coming off your helmet or your helmet coming off your head. So it's got really good uh, strength there. Uh, you just screw it into the bottom of your case and that's all there is to it. Uh, some of the other stuff we have with it isn't the available extra battery, but that's just something we got with a little bit of a case in it. Keeps it protected. So, Well, I hope I gave you guys some uh, good information here. Uh, something you can use, uh, especially if you're deciding on cameras and what you might be looking into. I tried to show you a couple of the features of the camera um, along with a little bit of a tutorial on what you can do with it. Um, I pretty much went over as best I could everything. It has really good quality. It's time shots, time lapse, um, good wide angle. You can change. Um, really good uh, being able to see because of their Exmor um, CMOS sensor. It can see a lot better in dark uh, lit areas. So um, I'll end this video.
I'll end this video with a uh, quick recording saying goodbye. Bye, guys. Bye, guys.